Hi everybody, welcome to LAC Review. My name is Colt. My name is Dylan. Today we're sitting at Neon Hookah Lounge, where we actually work at, and today we're going to be doing a review on Arduini. Dylan right here is going to tell you about what we're using today and what we're smoking out of. We are smoking out of a Paloma Moon, a KM, as most good people know. Also, if you are smoking out of any other hookah, I would recommend using the KM. It's one of the better hookahs out there. It's very nice, very elegant, you know. It's the high class type in the states as they call it. We'll be smoking out of an Egyptian five hole bowl. As he said, we'll be smoking Arbolini lemon mint. Very nice flavor, very smooth, very tasty. So today, of course, Arbolini, we're gonna tell you about how the taste is. It's very, very smooth lemon mint. I actually recommend it over Fumari's lemon mint, which we will be doing a review later on. Uh, the flavor, I'd probably rate it about an eight and a half to a nine. It's got a really nice, smooth, rich flavor. You get a little bit of lemon and a lot of mint, which is really nice for all you mint smokers out there. It's also a good mixture. Uh, we'll probably be doing more on it later about mixing it with a little bit more of our Um Also, the smoke, as you can tell from when Dylan's hitting it right now, it's got a really rich smoke to it. Uh, it just depends on how you rip it and how you pack your bowl. We actually pack the bowl loose and fluffed up so that way you get a bit more airflow through it. And you don't want to pack your bowl all the way to the rim. We'll be doing reviews on how to pack bowls, but you want to leave about a two to three centimeter gap from the top of the bowl to the foil, which allows room for it to actually breathe, fluff up when it heats, and produce more rich smoke so it doesn't get harsh. Very nice. Like you said, I also recommend it above Kumari's Lemon Mint. It's very smooth, very tasty. It's not as juicy as Fumar. Fumari's Lemon Mint is very juicy, which causes a very syrupy flavor in the back of your throat, which will actually make you cough and make it harsh. Also, we're using four bowls today because it takes a higher heat. And this bowl that we have packed will last about an hour to two hours. A normal hookah bowl will last you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes with one to two sets of bowls. And that is burning with only two or three coals. Our four coal method, we like we like a kind of harsh taste to it. <coughs> but that is our preferences. You smoke differently. If you are a regular hookah smoker, I highly recommend Argolini. I give her about eight and a half to nine. Smoke, I would give about the same, about a nine. It's a very rich smoke, and also if you are smoking a hookah and it does get a little harsh early on, probably because you overpacked it, but a quick tip to loosen up the sheesh and also make it not harsh, get a little dropper like this, we just got normal water in it, you want to go right in between the coals with it, so that way it just kind of steams right in between the coals. So whenever you blow out first to purge it, and then whenever you inhale, it'll suck the water down into the sheesh and actually make it not harsh and last a little bit longer. So once again, this was an Argolini Lemon Mint Review. I'm Colt. I'm Dylan. And we'll be back with more reviews on how to pack bowls, different flavors, and all you need to know about Uka. Have a Follow good us guys. on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Neon Uka Lounge. We'll be back. Alright, you guys have a good one.